Hi you guys, Tana Rose here and this week we're going to be reacting to Olivia Rodrigo's new music video for Vampire. I'm very, very excited to watch this because Olivia Rodrigo has not released new content in quite some time. But of course, before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. You know, I really like Olivia's content because it's got a little bit of everything, you know? We've got a lot of aesthetically pleasing visuals and then we've got a really great message behind it, as well as some cute little dance moves. Like, she's just, she's just got a little bit of everything. I'll have what she's having. But before I have what she's having, I'm gonna play a little game and it is called... Guess the Plot. So. Of course, I'm gonna play one second of this music video and then see if I can guess the entire plot of the music video. I'm probably not gonna get it right. Well, let's see. Here we go. Well, that was nothing. All right, all right, well, let's see what I've got here. We've got nice square-like dimensions instead of a widescreen, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna go more of the vintage route. A shimmering body of water, particularly maybe a a lake, and we got crickets, and this song is called Vampire. I still have nothing. Um, maybe it's a vampire trying to isolate herself, aka Olivia, and uh, however, she's a hopeless romantic, so no matter what she does, she's going to find her beau. I don't know, that's my guess. Or you know what would be really funny is if like Olivia was a vampire and she was like skinny dipping in the water. Can vampires swim? You know, out of all of the content with vampires I've seen in my entire life, I've never seen a vampire in water. Ah, yes, come in the water. Ah, 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 ah. Three fabulous flyers. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I feel like vampires in the water is very uneventful. All right, well, uh, let's see what we're really working with here. Very, uh, relaxing. Oh! This looks like some Twilight. Twilight. That's Hate to give the satisfaction asking how you're doing now. How's the castle built of people you pretend to care about? Just what you wanted. Look at you, cool guy, you got it. See the parties and diamonds Sometimes when I close my eyes Six months of torture you sold To some forbidden paradise Okay, two things. Um, one, this looks like something out of Twilight. I'm literally just waiting for Edward Cullen to come running through the bushes any minute now. Two, why is she holding it like that? Like, wh wh why is she, like, singing into the mic like this? Like, I don't, I don't even I loved you truly Diamonds in the rough eye didn't need it. Like, what is going on here? She's having a full makeout session with the mic. Could you imagine, like, being on a hike and you just, like, see this happening? It is so beautiful out here. Oh, I love it. I loved you truly. I need you for I'm a vampire. Oh. Yeah, she needs an exorcism. Okay, continue. I so loved you truly. You gotta laugh at the stupidity. Cause I've made some real big mistakes But you make the worst one look fine I love how the smoke's only coming from like one part You only come out at night I used to think I was smart The light behind you her is so bright so nice. Is it like the moon or something? You saw me for parts oh, You suck your I saw like a spark. Okay, now I'm slightly concerned that the smoke is actually like a fire. You know, I can imagine the next two minutes of this music video. Oh yeah, vampire, vampire. Bob, Bob, she's she's on fire now. Yeah. Call the priest. Okay, continue. Sucker, fame, fucker. Oh. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Uh, oh! Uh, uh, I'm literally speechless. I. That was good. That was good. That. Wow. 
No wonder I'm like sitting here saying, why does this look so weird? Oh, because it's a stage. And I'm wondering if the audience is just totally like sitting there silent. This girl just got whacked by a theater light and no one is moving. Like, could you imagine? Vampire, oh yeah. Oh! Do you think they have a bathroom here? Poor Olivia. Oh, now they're reacting. And every girl I ever talked to oh, told she's me you were bad, bad. Wounded. I called him crazy. God, I hate the way I called him crazy too. You're so convincing. Oh my gosh. How do you lie without flinching? I'm so confused. You got injured by a stage light. Clearly that's not your fault. And now you're being chased down the street by police officers. Olivia, I'm gonna need some explaining here. Something's not computing. Well, hopefully I could just continue and we'll see how this ends. Continue. That's it? That's it. Well, that was something. I I'm not gonna lie though, I'm just kind of confused. It definitely got me going in the middle when she gets hit by the theater light and the stage goes up in flames, but then when the cops start chasing her, I'm just confused. Well, let's get into the ratings, shall we? When it comes to music production, this is classic Olivia Rodrigo. I, I thought it was very beautifully done. I really like how it builds and builds and builds, and then right at the end of the chorus, it just goes da, 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 da. Like super simple, super sweet. I love her vocals with her music production. And it's like a mix of acoustic punk, pop, rock, all in a combination and just it makes you feel good even though it's for any girl that's basically going through your common heartbreak. And I love the way the music production ended. So I'm gonna give music production an A. Let's move on to vocal performance. I thought she did awesome, especially when the theater light hit her and she kept going. She performed this very, very well. And I just wanna know why the cops were chasing her though. That I will never understand. But she's got amazing control, amazing vocal reach. I mean, she could go super, super high. Vocal performance definitely gets an A. I mean, it's Olivia Rodrigo. I'd be insulted if anybody gave her anything less than an A. Let's move on to lyrics. 
Lyrics I really like because it's very cliche as a metaphor, and yet it works very uniquely, and I really like it. She basically compares a relationship, a significant other, as a vampire that just bleeds her dry. And I really like that metaphor. I think that's really perfect. It kind of reminds me of Lady Gaga's monster. It's kind of the same thing, where that boy is a monster, or that boy is a vampire. However, when it comes to the lyrics matching the music video, yeah, it, it didn't really match at all. In fact, the only part that slightly matched was when she had blood on her, but she had blood on her for all the wrong reasons. I thought she was gonna get bit by a vampire. There was no vampire at all. Well, regardless, I will give lyrics an A, but an A minus because it didn't really match the music video. Speaking of, Let's get into the music video. I really loved the first like minute and a half, especially where I thought she was in the middle of a forest and then all of a sudden we get the big twist of her on a theatrical stage that is literally falling apart before everybody's eyes. But then once the cops start chasing her, I, I, you lost me there. I don't know. I have no idea where that went. So I don't really know about the plot. However, I do love the vintage aesthetic feel about it and I really, really liked the first minute and a half. But because I was so confused, I kind of have to give this music video a B. I'm sorry, I just, I really wish that I understood what was going on by the very end. However, the overall score is most definitely an A. All right, you guys, that is everything. Stay tuned for Saturday where I release this week's cover. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. Bye, you guys.